it just hits them. Like, they don't realize it until they're there that it'll hit them differently. Yeah. Because that was, like, the case of me looking at images of, like, a crime scene. And I was, I, I previously always thought, oh, I'm fine. Because I used to watch, like, some TV shows that had blood in it. And I just passed the fuck out when I oh, looked no. at an image that was apparently a real crime scene. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they they thought maybe it was, like... You, so who remembers those, like, half-clear, half, like, cut-open mannequins yeah. we would learn from? Yeah. They yeah. still have oh, one. Are... Yeah, they have them in the museum storage, like the original ones. People would get creeped out by them, so also they started falling apart as people played with them. Um, there's a YouTube channel. By the way, hi again. Hi. Um, there's a no. there's a YouTube channel, and I sent you a message, Tanya, on, on Discord, um, which is from I can't remember which medical institute, but they will routinely pull out the cadavers that they have been donated and show different interesting things about them, like top ten weird things we found on autopsy or that kind of thing. Um, I find those interesting, but I understand that like for a lot of people, seeing what's left over after you're no longer you can be difficult mm -hmm. I, I i tend to refer to them as as individuals if you're going to talk about body works that way it's not it, it, there you're not like taking away from the fact that it was a person at some point even though it like really is not now yeah uh, and that's it, where i'm at yeah. yeah dr neuro my my dad told me that he had a lot of medical students when he was working that would faint at blood or faint the idea of working on a cadaver or doing autopsy work oh wow which maybe that's not the right line of work yeah <laughs> after i passed out at the law firm which is where i was interning when i saw that photo my parents were like okay so you're 100 percent not going to be a doctor i was like yeah i think I was like, oh, okay, there goes my vet career out the window, because I wanted to be a vet at the time, too. Yeah, like, I can't, I can't see, I don't know, and it's like, it's weird, because, so, again, slight content warning, but, like, when I got sterilized, I, they said you could watch, like, the, yeah. what's the camera, the, like, camera? Laparoscopic. They're like, you could watch a laparoscopic feed if you want. Like, some people don't want to, some people do. I sat there and watched all of it in this, like, fascination. Mm -hmm. But then I can't stand being at the dentist. Dentist, though, hits people different. Oh, I know. A lot of people. A lot of people did. Like, I watched when they were still attempting to not replace my hip. I'm sorry, um, what? At the one... Well, the one practice that like kept telling me I was too young and blah 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 before I got the second opinion and got it done. Um, they tried uh, a cortisone injection, which is standard uh, to try, but of course wasn't going to work since I had it was bone on bone. But to do it, I was sitting there laying there and watching the needle go in on like an X-ray, so I could like see my joint and see what they were doing. Um, I've told you before, Tanya, that my dad actually assisted in one of his own surgeries. But that's some people, like World War Two. I have no choice in the field shit. According to him, it was a local anesthetic, so there was no reason he couldn't help. Um, oh my god! Listen, I am my father's daughter. Yes, remember uh, the story about you nearly losing an arm from metal poisoning? For oh that that was I didn't almost lose an arm. You made it sound like you did. No, I probably would have had a sepsis issue. That's a little different from losing an arm. Close enough. But uh, and no, no, no. Do not gloss over that, Kelly, because losing <laughs> an arm is actually better, quote unquote, than having a quote unquote sepsis issue, which is you know blood poisoning, which is what I had. But it's which okay. is, I yeah, love you, I'm Kelly. I'm here to talk about it. Mm -hmm. This is true. <laughs> Neuro's probably like, what is wrong with all of you? No, Neuro, Neuro, like, my dad and Neuro could probably talk for hours because that's just how that do. Like, medical oh my stuff God. is how that do. Uh, but yeah, I'm, no, painting, so I'm painting leather. Don't mind me. I'll that the, the, the tracking had gotten above my elbow. 
on my left arm before I before I sought emergency room help. Can I need to pop out soon? I am getting a little bit wibbly listening to this. Oh, we can stop. Okay, we can stop. stop. We'll stop. Okay. We'll stop. I'm sorry. I'm no, no. Don't apologize. Can we discuss wibbly? Because that's very good descriptive. No, <laughs> never apologize. That's why I said if, if never. it's... If if this is squicking anyone out, we can happily uh, change the subject. Um, I'll well, I have happy uh, panda. I don't know if you or someone can pop into. Oh, it's in the other Discord actually, but I shared in the subscriber channel the drafts for some new emotes and redos. So we will have a Witcher emote eventually, and we'll ha and there's a draft. Boy, I say boy. Guys, I haven't figured out some form of Witcher emote to have yet, but I just I haven't even thought about it. I think she's I think Rabicoon's gonna do Geralt in her style. I I knew they were in there and I hadn't looked over yet and I just peeked and oh my god the way I want to just cry laugh at the boy emote. Well, if I you can so much. if you can drop a link to that, hopefully people can see it. Hey DC. Yeah, you can draw you can drop a picture link to anything, so Well, I wasn't sure because I, I never know if people can see stuff if they're not in the Discord it came from. If you open it on the web, you usually can just see the picture. Okay. Yeah. They're so good. Yeah, so some of those are updates of existing emotes. The stare emote is now my favorite. The stare update. I love it. Uh-huh. I do, I love it. I really, I really, really need to get with with Abby and get a couple of more emotes. I just haven't had the funds lately. That's a goal for mid year this year to get the rest of my emotes filled out. Well, some of these are, are updates. I I don't think I'm ever gonna earn a new emote slot. So I still need to make like three more of my own animated ones, and I haven't done it yet. Wait, you make animated emotes, sirs? My my dancy chicken, I made it. <gasps> chicken! It's a chimkin. Yeah, this one. <gasps> that is so cute! Very cute. It's a chimkin. I made it for Animal Crossing a while. And then I haven't made any other since. It's so cute. Yeah. There, uh, and it just, I don't know why, but you sharing your chicken emote, this is my own weird leap of logic. Mm -hmm. Um... Somebody made a heckin' Wimdy STL file, and it's just that poor fox in the wind. <laughs> and I downloaded the file. I don't know how long it would take to print it. Ah, oh, that I do love that gift though of the 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 fox in the wind. Yeah, it is. The time when it's windy. It's yeah. Really look at that. <laughs> it's just like, basically, a, it looks like a popsicle, and it's like. <laughs> It just is heckin' whimdy. Because I didn't know what you all were talking about every time you would say that in Steven's chat. And I'm like, the fuck are you all talking about? And now you know. I mean, now I know, but for a long time I was like, what? Because I often am like, do I want to ask? Do I want to ask and have the, what do you mean you don't know what this is? Well, to be fair, I feel like a lot of people don't do the, what do you mean? But yeah, no, I get I get the feeling still because I also hesitate to ask a lot of the time because I'm like, I don't know. Is this common knowledge? And then people act like it is. And honestly, it's not. I have a bad habit of doing that. I'm trying to get better about it. About what? Many times, like having the attitude of like, what? You didn't know this? Like if it's common knowledge. Mm. Sorry, yeah, I realized I'm doing I'm doing the thing where I'm holding Geralt away from the camera. <laughs> Still in frame though. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought he was out of whatever. frame. No, whatever, whatever helps you. I'm oh. wearing my glasses. That's the funny thing. I didn't even put on my contacts today because I knew I'd need to see. Wait, that's not right. See in <laughs> detail. <laughs> because I'm still trying uh, new contacts, and we haven't quite found the right mix yet. Uh, that it did. Uh, headset stopped connecting to Discord for, uh, for for Kelly. So. Oh <laughs> no. Listening on Twitch. 
Oh no. Headphones, why? Headphones being bites. Well, I tried the, the Logitech Fits and they actually worked for stream, but I think the combination of the Fits and my camera made something freeze because that was the day my camera kept freezing. Um, because the fits go through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, but they were like on a dongle. So I don't know why my camera kept freezing that day. Uh, Panda, since you're here, what is a, a good way to get a kind of leather effect via paint? Because this is brown leather, but it's just drying kind of flat. Washes will help once you're done getting the paint down. Okay. Um, and then there's a lot of people that like to go in and, like, get a couple of different colors and stipple it on there very, very lightly as opposed to a dry brush to kind of get a really good, like, textured leather effect. I usually just use a wash and a dry brush, and I use a really, really rich leather and the paint that i use is actually from it's from army painter from the D, &D line when they still had it like i said that was a revelation for me this morning because i didn't put two and two together that they had moved the line uh, but it's called rigid leather and it's the texture of it it's not technically a texture paint but it will start to look like leather when it dries down um, mm. that's my biggest trick is i use that one but it's a very very rich rich brown they have a lot of green mixed into it a lot of green and red. It's a green and red mix for the brown. It's so this is the leather brown, brown I have from Vallejo. Which I have that color too. And that one's, a, it's a pretty brown, but it's a very, very light brown. Um, oh yeah, no, Kelly. Wash will definitely help. Yeah, I have a sepia wash up there. That'll probably be great. And actually, um, the intermediate kit came with a couple extra, not extra, but it came with a couple washes. So... Um, well, it was, I, I have indulged in a little retail therapy and I really should calm down concerned. I got two trips coming up almost back to back. Good. You should finish that Kelly. Now I'm going to poke you about it. Yes, I think you should all finish that. I, for one of these hobbies that I don't have, and I, that I enjoy encouraging all of you who do them. <laughs> yeah. I, my goal is to finish Glicks this weekend. She's so close. Kelly, I'm going to yell at you. Not yell, but I'm going to do a fuss. Do not say that you shouldn't finish something because Zero did it. Zero's been a prop maker for many, many, many years. Do not measure yourself against what Zero or anyone else has done, and I'm going to do a fuss at you. It is not bad. It is it is really well done, and it's your first thing. I'm going to do a fuss. And it's going to be yours. It's, 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 you, you can make it how you want, right? Right. Which, yeah. Weren't you the one that just told me paint girl however I want? I'm going to tell Zero so Zero can do a fuss at you. Oh, no. Look, I have Kelly's phone number. If you've muted Twitch, I could just call you and then let you listen to us that way. Yeah, that, that could work. Kelly too. knows I'll call her. And I know that she's an hour ahead of me, so I know around five my time she'll oh be home. I have no shame. She knows this. <laughs> I'll call your mom. Oh, that, that should be good. Yes, do. I mean, not live right now, because that would be weird. But I'll oh, just... No, later. Yeah. I'll just call your mom. <laughs> oh, I have PJ's number, too. So I could call PJ, or I could call your mom. Which would you prefer? Well, I could call <laughs> my mom, because she's going to be home tonight. And, you know... Local mom. Right? Like, Deidre could be at your house fairly soon. 
there's no traffic. I can be there in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure if I suddenly call PJ, he'd probably answer because he probably thinks it's an emergency. And don't you dare go say don't answer if Tanya calls. Because I know that's what you'll do. Oh, isn't it great that PJ and I, I have PJ's number from, you know, events involving a trip into the city and important communication. Kelly's like, I hate all of you. <laughs> yes, you were. You probably were Discord messaging him right now. We've met you, Kelly. But to be fair, PJ would probably look at that message and go, I should call Tanya to find out what's going on just to be a scorch. Yep. Oh, look at that. Suddenly my phone's ringing. BRB. <laughs> He's not actually ringing. But I could see I could see PJ going, what did you do? Like, I did nothing. <laughs> This is what happens when people are your friends and care about you, Kelly. Get used to it. It's fun. I mean, look at what we conspired to do to Pirate, who I feel like should pop up any second because it should be around lunchtime for him. Oh, crap. I have to get for lunch then soon. <laughs> Did you just realize, oh, yeah, it's about that time of day. Yeah, it's about that time of day where we want food. Yeah, I mean, at some point I'll break for lunch, but I have no meetings today. And unless a meeting gets scheduled, which I doubt it would be a same day schedule. Oh, when Deidre and I conspired to send him cookware after after his baking stream, I was going to send it to him while he was live, but I didn't want to be weird. Because he didn't have enough bowls or anything else. Yeah, I have no meetings today somehow. So this is what you do next time. You. you tell me what I need to go buy. And <laughs> I just go drop it off and he doesn't have a choice because I have his house key now. Oh, that's even better. Oh, he has to that. go to the office today too. <laughs> and he won't be home for a while. So if you have to go check on Kiros anyway. <laughs> oh, and, and Sirius, are you going to be going over and check it on Kiros while Pirate's here? Oh, he didn't actually ask me, but... Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, no, I... Um, he might. He, he does have a dog walker, usually. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. But it's, I go for a companionship. <laughs> and because you want to see Kiros, who is one of the best puppers? Yes. Kiros so, and Sonya. It's great. The best doggo. I love Sonya, because Sonya just sticks his face, like, in a shoe. Yeah. I don't know why <laughs> he does this. Oh, but the but other day when I went to drop off like the cinnamon roll for him, he wasn't home. So like Sonya was there and like immediately rolled over. I'm like, you have trapped your house well, pirate. <laughs> you have what? <laughs> Tell me. Trapped his house well because Sonya greeted me <laughs> and then rolled right over and was like, yes, pet me. The fluffy tummy. I forget. Is, so it is, is it a trap with Sonya? It is a trap. Sonya tried to bite me. <laughs> I still did it anyways. Well, it was funny, but also I didn't want to make Pirate, like, feel self-conscious while he was already nervous about the charity stream. Mm -hmm. I was like, my God, man, let me buy you a bowl. Well, we, we, did, a we didn't give him a choice, really. It still, you, you still got him a bowl, and it is still there. So it is a win in all books. True. Scotty does gum the Ikea pillows for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it's just soothing on his little gums. I don't know. He's a wee doggo. No, because... Like yeah? The whole lady is always watching Bella when Scotty comes over. <laughs> Why? What's funny? Tiny doggo, and then Bella just looking at it going, okay, fine, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Aw. Bella is a sweet girl. Yeah. You're an old lady. But, yes. Also, the hilarity of Scotty at the beach just will never not be funny. To me. Always will be funny to me. It's just oh, when he's like borking at the water? <laughs> or when 
you know, he's got his little shark fin life preserver on. Oh. And the shark, those life vests for the doggos, but the shark fins are the best. Scotty is the best boy. He is. All dogs are best. All hold number one cannot dispute. Well, it's just I so funny. No, no, one of mine is a jerk, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> dog owners are free to refute if needed. <laughs> You're like, no, this dog is a jerk. Seeger <laughs> fully got on my desk and took my snack the other night, and I was hungry. <laughs> And in the process of stealing my food, he got his foot caught in a garbage bag that was full of stuff I was cleaning out of my office, and it ripped open and got all over my office. So not only did I not get my snack, I had to clean my office. I was angry. <laughs> oh, so he made work for you is what I'm hearing. He made work for me and stole my food. Wow. Okay, that's a jerk move. You got us there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ripley is everyone's friend still. <laughs> Ripley also doesn't understand she's not a lap dog. No, she does not. I really enjoy those where the do larger dogs are like, oh, yes, am lap dog. Don't mind me squeezing in front right here. Ripley is shorter than Kuros and has like 25 pounds on him. Oh my god. She's and I've been sat on by Kuros, so I can't imagine. <laughs> well, Kuros is like, you sat still long enough. Yep. I how Princess finally got to meet Kiros after wanting to meet him for so long and then got shy. Aww. Yeah, she was like, no! And I'm like, are you really afraid of this dog? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> it was, I want attention, so I'm going to pretend to be shy. <sighs> Meanwhile, I told her that Pirate was coming here. She goes, but who's going to watch Kiros? Oh. It's like, he's a big doggo. He'll be okay for a few days. He, he will have does somebody to go take him outside. It's fine. Yeah. He does do the last time when I um like went to visit when Pirate was away, he like got excited for like a good five minutes after that. He like laid down on his bed and he just sighed, the hugest sigh. And I was like and I had to actually message Pirate because I'm like, I'm concerned. He just did a big sigh. Like, does is does does this mean something? Is he really sad? He's like, Oh no, he just does that a lot. Oh. Like, oh, okay. Oh, Kelly has shared Scotty in the shark vest. Must click. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do for food. I may go set that potato on and set a timer. Then when the timer's done, uh, take a break, do food, check email. There's a couple emails. Also, I my other retail therapy indulgence is I bought those really tall Doc Martens with the laces. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. Uh, if you look up the Daria, if you go to the Doc Martin site and type in Daria, it should show you. Um, Wait, is Daria like the 90s cartoon Daria? Is that's that the, the name. Daria? I didn't name them. Oh, they look nice. Them. They're very tall goth boots, and even though they have all those laces, they zip in the back. I like those. Yeah, that was my other indulgence. And I'm like, I don't need these. I shouldn't spend the money. Oh, look, my credit card jumped out of my hand. <laughs> They're really nice boots. I didn't think about the size of the box. I had to do the, the roll the box up the stairs thing because it did not fit in my usual go down and get parcels bag. <laughs> uh, Doc Martens are good, Kelly. If you ever get them, though, they do require breaking in. Mm -hmm. Um, so because I've got clear and pre-check, I'm thinking of wearing them the next time I fly because I won't have to take them off. Uh -huh. I see people wearing like heels and boots and they don't have pre-check. And I'm like, why? I did that once with my hiking boots, but that's because my hiking boots did not fit in our really, really packed suitcases coming back from a trip. So I had to wear them. It was not fun. Well, my next trip is a short trip, so I'm debating oh, if really it'll... Very nice. Yeah, but I'm debating because they are... They're tall, like they are knee-high boots on me. Mm. And I need to I need to take them out of the package because I promised Mandy a picture as well. 
um, because I was I told her I just pulled the trigger and bought them. She's like, I want to see them. The box is still <laughs> by the door and is taking up a lot of room because it's a tall, wide box to just have like a pair of boots in it. Because I got downstairs and I was like, that's a big box. They are really well packed and really well made, usually. They're also really thick soles, which are great for what they are. But I mean, I can't complain. All of my docks have lasted literally for years. Oh, look, it's a pirate. Hi, pirate. Hey, Flair. Hi. Thank you for the raid. Hello. Oh, raid notifications are not broken anymore. They no longer say, like, Null or Nan or whatever it was. Yeah. Okay, I do have to hop off to start prepping lunch because I'm hungry. All so, right. Thanks for hanging I'll out. See y'all later. Yeah, thank you for having <laughs> me on. You're and welcome. allowing me to geek out about rocks. It was <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> hey, pirate. How are you? We miss you. What? I say that like, like I'm not going to see you in a couple weeks. That's weird. Mm. I, that's fair though. I miss friends all the time. Oh, I is it? Okay, is Wulong like is Wulong a souls like or is it more monster huntery? Because who was I watching? Technique was streaming it late last night. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go maybe another half hour, an hour, because I am getting hungry, and I should bake that potato or do something with it before it goes bad. Okay, so it's. I might have to jump off here too, anyways, in a little bit. To... Yeah. I no. joined on my phone. Yay. Oh, welcome back. I joined on the phone, but I was like, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I realized <laughs> I missed all this whole ponytail. I forgot Gerald has a ponytail and missed the whole thing. Well, like, I saw it and I'm like, I'll get that later. And I keep accidentally hitting it with the black paint and other paint. Then I'll pass because I hated Neo. I one I hated Neo just because it was one of those we're throwing you in the deep end type of games, and I I don't do well with those. But also, and I I mentioned this to Technique the other day, and he was like, "What the hell? Like, you have the worst luck." I'm like, "No, it's called being a black woman on the internet." Um. But I had someone randomly messaging me and on Instagram, and their message always was just, play Neo. And I don't know why that was the message. But I did try Neo. I think I grabbed Neo 2 when it was a PlayStation Plus offer. But I have yet to ever play it. Because I, I got maybe 15 minutes in the original Neo and was like, I hate this. Yeah, and I don't know what prompted it. I think I had retweeted some stuff about accessibility and Dark Souls, and they decided that meant that it was time to harass me. I don't know. And what I hate is Instagram shows you the attempted message. You can't even block the attempted message. At least on mobile, I haven't found a way to do it. But thank you for the raid. Can I get a shout out for Flair? Uh, but yeah, I was I was lurking in Technique stream last night when he was playing it kind of late, like after Mandy was done and after I went to bed. But I I joined at a point where I didn't know what he was doing. Cause like he was he was somebody was following him and he was jumping around. Oh, it was it was weird, and I still don't know what prompted this person. To just randomly try to message me. Because I ignored the message. And I think they would just message from a different account. And it was just play Neo. That was the message. It was like. No you fucking weirdo. Why you play it if you want to watch it. But it was. And I have no. Like I could not remember what I could have said online. Or anything that would have prompted this random play this real specific game spam. Remember, we also have had people that have come in here and tried to backseat me playing The Sims, so. It doesn't make sense. Like, there are 
a lot of games like i'm not saying that vaccinating i'm trying i'm saying vaccinating in general is a bad thing but also the concept of like how do you backseat game like sims right like, they came in and were trying to backseat how i was placing windows in a house i was building oh so they're just commenting on your aesthetic versus yeah they, they're assholes i mean just like i don't understand that why were you you weren't in my stream oh god it must have been like three weeks ago i was playing uh i was playing witcher and you know i was interacting with people the way i normally interact but I guess I wasn't smiling enough. I must have missed that because I'd have remembered. Oh, Rafiki banned them because they kept asking questions, which I answered. And then they were like, yeah, you don't look like you're having a good time and you're not interacting with us enough. Oh, no, maybe I was there, but Rafiki beat me to it. Yeah, he was like, you, you don't look like you're having a good time. You don't interact with chat enough. I'm like, uh, what? Like... I can have a good time and not be smiling constantly. Like, this, just from, this hurts my face. Though, it does. Uh, I'm going to drop a link in the Twitch chat, and then I'm going to put it in our mod chat. So I've discovered a lot of new music through Instagram, including this particular singer and this particular song, which has become a very popular sound to put over shutting down guys in various ways um, <laughs> and uh it's a really good song in general but the the line is like um maybe square smile so you don't get called a bitch who takes up space and i'm like can i get that on a t-shirt i'm sorry what the line in the i song enjoy is, the line right. she's talking this the song is about you know do it like a girl like you wish you could do it as good like a girl and the line in the song is fake a smile so you don't get called a bitch who takes up space yep that's pretty much exactly how they try to make you feel yep i'll see then i, mean, I would just I snarl at people the, the peak of my the peak achievement for me because I was leaving an audition and I was really tired and I was in New York City and riding subway and that's already a lot of peopling for me in one day. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there and I'm, I was just like I didn't I don't think I had my head set and this guy kept talking to me and this guy kept talking to me and this guy kept and I'm I'm like how is how are you not getting this message and then finally I just turned and I looked at him and I was like, oh my god you can see me. And he kind of looked at me he was like oh uh, what and I was like. I looked around the cart and I was like, can you see them too? And he got up and he left. Good. Peak achievement. Peak achievement. Also, I am very pale, so I could be mistaken for a ghost. Kelly. Facts. You are not that pale. Really? Yes, I really. I have to wear turtlenecks, a hat, and long pants when I played laser tag because I glow under black light. The look I'm giving you. I'm not joking, though. <laughs> I'm not mm. joking. <laughs> Relatable. I'm not. I'm not joking. Because um, I was really good at at you know um, taking other people out, but it's contingent upon them not seeing me glowing before. <laughs> I know you're just rolling your eyes. I can I can hear your facial expressions. Good. You know exactly where it is then. You know, you, it was pretty funny though. Let's be honest. It was pretty funny. A little bit. A little bit. A little, a little bit funny. <laughs> you are not the color of skim milk. Oh my god. Jesus, well, H.L. No, you know, the color of skim milk is probably at least aged a few weeks. Don't worry. <laughs> I tell you, my skin tone is day glow mayonnaise. I do enjoy the fact that Tanya is just like, I can hear the facial expression just getting <laughs> more and more. Look, yeah. my husband is in chat. He will tell you I glow in the dark. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I mean, I'm, I seriously am. It's a little ridiculous. Like, if you watch my streams, you can actually see uh, my skin tone change when the, the overall wash on the game screen changes because I reflect it. Like, that's, it's a thing. I still haven't figured out a way to completely white balance that. 
<laughs> yeah, I struggle with white balance on my camera too. I usually have to make my lights super warm. I'm just yeah. here painting. Uh, so, Pirate, any feedback I, on Geralt while you're here? <laughs> I'm just ignoring this conversation. You love us. I do. That doesn't mean I have to participate in the shenanigan, Ray. Shenanigan. Do you want to go? Do you want to go laser tagging sometime? No. Do they still have laser tag? They do. They do. Yes. Do you want to go paintballing? No. Absolutely not. I bruise oh. too easily. I'm really good at it. I I hit peak athleticism at 18, so no. Yeah, the thing the thing I learned is because I am not athletic at all, but my daddy taught me how to set up uh, basically a blind, so I still win. I just don't have to move. I see you. I see you, DC. What are you up to? <laughs> DC is doing doing a bamboozle in chat. Yeah, I see I you. See. I see. You all encourage him. And also, in case anybody was wondering, I'm not using blind as an ableist term. That's a term for a sniping position. I'm not. Okay. Sorry. I just realized that some people might not know what that means. Warhammer 40k laser tag is a thing. Yes, it is. And also at the Games Workshop in England, at one point when PJ and I were supposed to go there for our 15th wedding anniversary, he was super excited. Uh, because they have a VR space marine thing, like in a big, like in a theater thing. And I told him I would go in there with him, and he kind of looked confused because I didn't do it. And I said, yeah, I'm going to go in there with you, and then halfway through, I'm just going to scream, your emperor is a false god. <laughs> and he's like, you'll get kicked out. I was like, I know. <laughs> he's like, I'll kick you out. I was like, I know. <laughs> Pirate, I know what I'm doing the next time I go back to the UK. Yeah, I don't know if it's still there. Um, I know that the we're definitely going to be using a different travel agent because the one that we were talking to didn't quite understand why we didn't want her seven-day London package with the seven-day Edinburgh package with all the regular touristy things. And I was like, no, uh, no. London is like a two-day thing. And we have to stop in Nottingham for two days. Well, why do you have to go there? I said, because of this games workshop thing. She's like, I don't understand. There's nothing there. Like, oh my okay, God. is this my trip or yours? Book the book. What the <laughs> exactly. fuck I asked you to book? Exactly, exactly. We're still gonna do it because we have. Um, I know uh, Pirate knows him. Uh, my friend Rodri, who has, who also does, who also rescues greyhounds, lives very close to there, and he is a huge 40k person. So he's like, I will drive there and go to the place with you because they have like. It's like basically a games workshop city. There's a restaurant in it and everything. And and PJ is like that's one of his few requests for England is that we do that. I was like, okay. Fine by me. I told Doug I was gonna go to England and not tell him I was there. You're you're a tall redhead. How are you not gonna how are you gonna sneak in? I'm just being an asshole. I have I mean, no I idea. I think Doug's watching the border. He's he, he voices the Witcher. You never know. You never know. You never he know. watches lots of things. He does watch. He Doug, does. I, I, did you see his post yesterday that he was cleaning his house and he found his dog tags from Band of Brothers? Yes. No. He, yeah, because he played the priest. He played the preacher in Band of Brothers, so he found his dog tags. Um. From Aww. It. Yeah. I did not. I I now have to basically go to people's profiles. I don't see a lot of people's posts. Yeah, neither. Do. I have to physically do it. Like, I get no engagement on my posts anymore, but I just keep posting. But I, I have to physically go to people's profiles, like a list that I have every day, or well, else I don't see their stuff. I have to go back and forth between following who I'm supposed to be, you know, was supposed to be timeline and, um, uh, but then you get, um, then you have to go back to, for you, for all of the people who you're supposed to be following and all of the art posts that they made that you didn't get in your for you file mm -hmm. I, or following. I'm like, I really need somebody who's rich to just buy back Twitter and fix all the shit that dude broke. Hmm. I'm, 
so y'all know that I'm, I'm, I usually do the, the stream for like Humane Society on Scotty's Gotcha Day, which is yeah. this month. And I'm really sad because I was hoping that I'd manage to get, she's so overwhelmed, the, the one uh, rescue out in California that got robbed. I was gonna, uh, hoping to raise money for her, but I have no idea how I could possibly, she's on, the, the rescue's on PayPal, but I don't know how you could fundraise that way. Uh, not bad. through, not through Twitch or Tiltify. It has, it has to have yeah. a link that you could set up and they would have to be part of Tiltify or Twitch's organizations that that's they've what added. I, that's why I told her. And I think it's just, she's so overwhelmed right now trying to run the rescue and trying to rebuild everything. Basically they, for people in chat who don't know, it's a, a friend of my, a very good friend of my boss's. My boss was an animal rescue for a long time. Um, obviously, I'm a big animal lover. And uh, Charlotte runs a rescue in California that uh, takes in, as they put it, the less adoptable dogs, which is hey, a term that none of us like. Hey, Leaf. But senior dogs, disabled dogs, you know, the dogs that get looked over. Uh, and they have like a little thrift shop they use to fund the rescue. And somebody broke in and stole everything including the cash drawer. Who so. the fuck steals from a dog rescue? Jesus. Hey, Bratlin. That's pretty awful, though. Like, you gotta <sighs> be... A, like, that's the lowest. Lowest of the <sighs> Seriously. Who steals from puppos? Like, I'm okay. I just realized I need to stretch my hand. Oof. Stretch your hand. I need to go actually make lunch. Yeah, it's a, it's past 11 for me. I know it's past 12 for you all. But I'm okay. trying... Who texted me? I'll have to hop off here in a second, too, just because I've got to do some stuff at work and actually you know, do the things I get paid to do. Silly uh, things. Oh, hey, Pirate. Your, your package is out for delivery. You haven't told me what that is yet, so I'm just going to react whatever he gets here. Oh, I'll tell you, because I had to tell him since people started chipping in for what it was, and I had bought it directly. Oh, what, what, what was it? Um, I got him Rufus. Ooh! I would happily take over your pack's emails if I could be useful. So, yeah, because I saw, like, the tweet where it's like, someone contributed. I'm like, oh, no. Unless you just have two Rufuses, which I don't know if that'd be weird, uh, but I needed a stretch for my hands and also get some more of this paint. All right, I'm going to hop off and say goodbye. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Um, text me later if you need anything, okay? I will. I will. Okay. Ruf Rufus E? Rufus Duo? I don't know. Also, let me turn this fan off. I'm also tempted to just order McDonald's because sh it's Shamrock Shake season. I tried to get PJ one and they were out. <laughs> Hold on. I have an important DM. Oh, yay! Uh, the quotes I gave for NBC uh, are out in the article. I will grab this. I had to give some quotes for NBC for tech uh, suggestions for streamers and gamers, and the article came out today. Uh, it is basically a it is a McDonald's vanilla shake, colored green and kind of sorta taste minty. Well, I'm just seeing if I have any important emails. I don't think I have any. Oh, Chase telling me why they won't give me a credit, the, the Southwest credit card again. Sorry, I'm just double checking something since I stood up anyway. And now, of course, since I stood up, I have to go to the bathroom. I don't think anyone else is in the mod chat, are they? Uh, Panda, you're there. You you've been so quiet. I am letting everybody else chat, and I'm also crocheting a thing, so keeping my counts while everybody's chit chatting. But I'm here. All right, you have the calm, because now since I stood up, I have to go to the bathroom. So, 
Hang out, BRB. chat party throw bits and subs at ciphers uh, i i am crocheting pot holders for cast iron pans that look like things it's a little early in the morning for panda after dark For biddies, we are here for biddies, all of the biddies. Also, one Cypher of Tears birthday is coming up in a month, and that is her throne wish list. Y'all should go buy things. SFX, thank you for all of the biddies. That's amazing. I love that it's like one big triangle. That's very cool. I feel that, Reese, and I am sorry. Back pain is, ugh. The dogs are pacing, I know. You see, I love it. You just have a button and you just randomly test. Always fun. I know. I started talking to my computer and now my dogs think I'm streaming, so I'm going to apologize in advance if we get opinions. Yeah. I know. Bigger no. Well. Oh. In case anybody wants to know what it's like to have a needy pupper. Ooh. Yeah, definitely take it easy with back stuff. It's always, you know, it's never fun. Okay, I'm going to need y'all to get out from under my desk before you unplug my mic again. <laughs> oh no, DC, really? Seeker's opinions are usually, it's 5.30 and Papa is now out of bed. Excuse me while I burrow under your pillow. Bear in mind, my dog is 80 pounds.
Seriously, Reese, he only gets like this when I'm talking to my computer. I can be on, it's usually whenever I go live, like he wants to get in the microphone and have all of these big opinions. But whenever I'm talking to my computer, like if my headset goes on and I'm like on a call or whatever, this starts. It's a new fix. It started right after he came off all his meds in January. He's just a weird little dude. I'm back. What are you all up to? Welcome back. Uh, Seeger is trying to give his opinions to chat because I started talking at a computer, so he thinks I'm streaming. Ah, uh, please give the goodest boy some some pets. I will give pets. I will give pets from Tanya. She likes you. I know. Oh uh, wow, them. they used a lot of my recommendations in this article. They did. I'm reading through it. It's great. They have the newest Embody chair though, because that I do not have the one that came in purple. I kind of want the one that came in purple, but now I really. Oh, hi, Seeger. Hi. Oh, interesting. A a store that's on Throne followed me. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. It's called Strange Dolls Boudoir. Okay. It's kind of my aesthetic. I like it. I'm just surprised that they followed me. Hi, Seeger. Hello. Tanya said hi, okay? You're good. No, I'm not going down to the city to get her for you. I mean, I really don't feel like going anywhere. It's also going to be a winter storm in the city, so you probably yeah. should stay home. Yes, I hope you all stay safe in the storm and it's not as bad as they say it's going to be. No, I think I'm going to just go a little bit longer and then order some McDonald's because now that I've said Shamrock Shake, I really want one. I also... I order one and they've been out at my store all, since they came out. They haven't had them available. And also, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, it's fine. It's just McDonald's is also fast. In, I mean, literally fast food, but it's probably the fastest delivery I can get in general. Oh, is it going to hit you too, DC? Please be safe. All right, I want to at least get these, these bits of leather done. And then we'll see who's on, because I started streaming kind of early. And now, and we're still here, and it's 11.30 a.m. I have no meetings, and I kind of want to get into Destiny. Uh, I'm in Chicago, Acidic. Yeah, then you might get it, because D.C. is kind of east. D.C. LaSalle, not D.C. the location. Um, so D.C. and chat is kind of east, coast-ish. Um, ooh, that is stiff as can be. Yeah, it's just gloomy. I can I opened the blinds earlier and it's just gloomy here. Ooh, that that brush did not like that. You go over there. I'm that for one second and go put him outside because he's fussing. Uh, he's like, but but no one's laying paying me attention. Yeah, it's like sir, you were just asleep. Do you need to go outside? Aw. <laughs> They're like, but but window. Yeah, the one thing I haven't decided on is skin tone for Geralt, because the last time the other Geralt I painted got a kind of light tan, and this is a wood brown or leather brown. I'm not going to use this, but I didn't make him like ghostly white either. Oh, they want like in the window. Oh, nice, Reese. Yeah, I mean, I also like McDonald's fries, but I'm kind of picky only when they're, like, hot and fresh. Because they do not reheat well at all. Um, I don't know. It's like, now, it's like, I'm so, I'm one of those people, like, I would easily see, like, one of those commercials and be like, I need this right now.
I don't know. I've never gotten fries from KFC. I don't usually eat KFC because I hate their fried chicken. Um, their chicken has always been soggy and gross to me. When I do order any kind of fried chicken, I get it from Popeye's. Um, or uh, Harold's, which is more like actual home. More like home. Somebody like stood in the kitchen over a hot pan, a hot cast iron stove with it. Uh, yes. Well, if you are... Like, at the convention center most of the day, absolutely. Or have somebody bring you food. Now, I don't know what the policy is on bringing food in. Because what was the convention a couple years ago where they weren't letting artists bring in their own food and were making them throw food away and not having an artist alley? Oh, I would say over KFC it is the superior chicken run. Like, KFC has always been gross and nasty to me. I do like their mashed potatoes, though. Yeah, I don't remember, because this is my first time back at PAX East in, like, three three years. No, literally three years, because I was supposed to go back... I was supposed to go back in 2020, and... I didn't go in twenty. Well, I didn't go in twenty twenty because PAX East and C two E two overlapped, and then twenty twenty one GDC and PAX East overlapped. I didn't go to GDC. Where did I go in twenty twenty one? I went somewhere, or maybe it didn't happen in twenty twenty one. It happened in twenty twenty two, but that was the year I went to London for the Gaming Awards. Um, I wish Popeyes would bring back dirty rice. They keep having it. They'll call it Cajun rice. Sorry, what? Oops, sorry. It now, hasn't been out, and they now have snacks, so they'll leave me alone. Yeah, I just you were you're so a little low to me. I don't know if you're low to chat. I'll, I'll move my microphone. I was looking down. I'm crocheting something that is rather naughty, and I have to count. To make sure it looks right. Rude on convention. I'm not following race. Oh, you mean the one I couldn't remember? Yeah, there was like a an anime con or something, and like people with tables were having their food confiscated, and it's like they're going to be sitting at that table for 12 hours, and like the the convention wouldn't the whoever security was, because it was like was it anime expo or something. There was some convention that I think it was last year, like there was issues with people getting tables to begin with, like artist alley tables. It was just a whole bunch of bullshit with that convention from what I've seen online. Okay, it was Anime Expo. Yeah, they were like taking people's food and not letting and not like people just walking in the convention. I don't know about people who had tables in the artist alley that were going to be at those tables like literally all day. Oh, God, no. I lived through that. All right, Geralt is starting to look more Geraldy. Now that I got a better handle on mixing and getting a darker brown for certain parts of the leather, I feel better about it. Yep. I because I remember some some of the artists I follow were unfortunately there. Um also it's a pandemic. I wouldn't be taking food from nobody. I'd be like, look, y'all gotta eat this quick. And yes, convention centers can have their policies and whatnot, but they are they're exhibitors. I have always seen exhibitors able to order food in, especially on setup and teardown days, because you're there all fucking day. Ooh. Come on, there's one random little hair. There we go. Is that my hair? 
Is that a random, like, piece of fluff? Nope, it's a random piece of fluff. My hair has not, never been that fine. It's just a random piece of fluff that was on Geralt somehow. Blame Ripley, that's what I do. Alas, I have no puppo to blame. Uh, yeah, I remember that, Rex, and also hello. Yeah, it was bad, because I remember just, like, it was a clusterfuck on that end. It was, that was the one where they also had, like, oversold, because it was the first year back. And so there were, like, it was just jam-packed, and I don't think they had a mask policy, so there were a lot of people getting COVID from the event. Because they were, like, one of the first conventions that came back when people were like, oh, we don't need a mask. Like, uh, you do. And uh, I will not be a Gen Con unless they reverse their mask policy. But at this point, it's probably too late to get a room. All good, Rex. I've just been painting and chatting.